welcome back to Let's Talk and you are with me, Mira. Well guys, today's lesson is going to be a little special. Well, if you ask me why, that is because I want your Valentine's Day to be special than ever before. Now, you would ask me, how is that possible? Well, today I have got certain phrases for you which are different than I love you but they have the same meaning. It means I love you. Well, what I think is if you start using these different interesting phrases, I promise you, your every day is going to be like a Valentine's Day with your Valentine. Well, now that's just because I think that I love you has become so repetitive and something that we say usually, right? Well, how about trying to use these new phrases just to get a little bit more spice in your sentence, I love you to someone. Okay, guys. Well, I'm excited. Let's get started. Well, guys, sometimes you want to tell someone, yeah, your loved one, how much they mean to you. They're so valuable to you and that you owe them everything, right? Now, sometimes the words I love you can fall short of what you actually want to say. How about trying to say you mean more to me than you will ever know, right? So don't, don't be like, uh, that means you don't take them for granted. You know that you, you know their worth and you're sharing that with them. And that you're also saying that I love you is not enough for me to tell you how much you mean to me. Maybe you're, some of, you're one of those who finds it a little difficult to express these things. Well, for someone like that, you mean more to me than you will ever know is I think good enough a phrase to begin with. And slowly, gradually, try to be more expressive and use other phrases as well, like this one. You are captivating, right? What do you think when I say you're captivating? That means your partner is able to hold your attention by being extremely interesting, right? Where he, um, the, their personality is such that they just captivate your attention, they hold your attention and they make you wonder, how can any person be so interesting? And that's why you love them, isn't it? Try using you are captivating to your loved one and you will see a beautiful smile across their face. Well guys, there's another phrase that you can try and use instead of I love you. Whenever I see you, I just think, good job God. Well, this is just in a funny way. But you're trying to tell them that they're so beautiful, they're so pretty the way they are, no matter what they think, you know, they sometimes might go like, am I looking too fat? Is this looking good on me? But whenever, then you can try using this face. That whenever I see you, I just think, good job, God. That means they're thanking God for making someone so beautiful and making them step into your lives. Now, isn't that really magical to say something like that to someone? Aren't you feeling good when I'm saying this just in general, right? Well, that's the power of using such phrases, making you more expressive, making the others feel so good about themselves. Well, let's take a look at more. Well, this one is a Spanish version of I love you. Now the thing is guys, I like to experiment with different languages and so should you. Not just with I love you, but with so many things around you. These small phrases, when you start using in your life, it just sort of enriches you in a different way. And when you use te amo, that's the Spanish way of saying I love you. When you use it in different ways, in different languages, it just makes your life so much more interesting, right? Well, like I said, we've been saying I love you quite a lot. Try saying the same thing in different languages like Te amo. I think there's such a sweet ring to it. Te amo. Just beautiful, isn't it? 
Okay, now let's take a look at a few more. Well, now this one I think in particularly is pretty good. I'm drawn to you, right? That means you're attracted to someone. Now guys, understand this. When you say I love you to someone, obviously there are things about them, there are, there are qualities about them that you really feel good to be with, good to spend time with, right? Now these are the things that keep you together, that makes, you, makes them so attractive. Now you try, you want to express this, but you're not able to because you're falling short of words. Try using this one. I'm drawn to you, right? I'm drawn to you. That means they're attractive and you're attracted to them. You're so beautiful that I'm drawn to you. You're so funny that every time you say a joke, I'm drawn to you, right? Doesn't it sound interesting? Well, of course it is. Now guys, sometimes you think that you've met your partners before, right? It happens to so many of us that you think that they, you already know them so well. How did I know this person so well? It's like we've met before, but you actually haven't. Then as the time passes, all of you end up thinking that we were meant to be together. We were supposed to be together. And you start thinking that you knew them so well, you were meant to be with them. That was for sure. That means you want to tell them that they are your soulmates. Well, try and say this. It's pretty nice to hear it from someone. We are soulmates. That's another way to say I love you, right? Now, there's another phrase that you can say that you have put a spell on me. I know it sounds a little dramatic here, but guys, wherever there is love, there has to be drama. Don't you think so? And this particular phrase that is you have put a spell on me is not only just dramatic but I think it's so magical just to hear someone say that to you that thank you for coming in my life you've put a spell on me I can't think about anything else but you it happens right well guys whenever you're in love you suddenly start seeing everything beautiful right you can fall in love with anything why because you start feeling that from within you well here is another one to express that you are filled with love for them and by them. I am enamored by you, right? That means you're telling them that you're filled with a lot of love for them and by them. Now here's another one to say that if you're someone who's a little chirpy or your partner is someone who just makes you go, you know, makes you groove around and just makes you sing songs, you can say, you make my soul sing, right? That means everything is so sweet around you, like those animated movies, you just find birds chirping around you, singing for you. Well, try this one. You make my soul sing. Now, let me tell you this one. Every time I see you, I think you were worth the wait. I really think that such sentences makes the other person understand that how much the other person is trying to express, how much is my worth in their life, right? And everyone wants to feel special that way. So try this one again. Every time I see you, I think you were worth the wait. That means you waited for the right person until that person came along and then you finally said, hmm, this is the one I want to be with. Isn't that great? Now what happens is guys, that you have a lot of friends, I understand. You have parents around you and you have your siblings and you, spend, you like spending time with so many of them. But when your beloved or this beautiful partner comes along, right? No matter how much time you spend with others, no matter how crazy you party with others, you always appreciate your partner so much. So here's something that you can tell that partner the next time you want to say I love you. You can say, you are my most favorite. No matter how much I party with others, no matter how much fun I have, have with others, there's no one else like you who makes me have so much fun, who makes me smile so much, who makes me laugh so much, right? So you can say, you are my most, most favorite. 
Guys, I really hope that you found something good enough that you can use the next time when you want to say I love you to your partner and try to make it special for them. Try to be more expressive with them. Okay guys, that's all for today. I will be seeing you very soon in another video. Until then, spread a lot of love guys. This is me, Mira, signing off. Bye.